Well, we're here. Time for another Mindset Monday. And this episode is called... How to be positive. Or how to be confident. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's time for another Mindset Monday. Did you see what you were like? It's time for another... <laughs> That's like yeah. a left- <laughs> it's like a left-handed throw. It was like... <laughs> Sorry to all the lefties out there, but if you throw with your wrong hand, it just doesn't... So, it's time for another Mindset Monday. And this episode is all about how to be confident. Fairly straightforward, right? Yeah, but it is an issue for a lot of people because lack of confidence is... Well, it's everywhere, isn't it? Even confident people can sometimes <laughs> yep. not feel confident in certain situations. And, and that's really the key here. It's the certain situations. You could be confident um, in your everyday life, but then all of a sudden a situation comes up and you're like, whoa, I'm not too sure about this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you go in your shell a little bit. So here's our tips and tricks on how to be confident. So tip number one, posture. This is all about faking it until you make it. So by standing taller, you appear more confident. You look proud as beep. <laughs> we need to beat that out now. So, right? so this is basically tapping into the subconscious mind. As soon as you pretend that you are confident, okay, just get the shoulders back, stick the chest out. Um, and just look like you're confident, it tells your subconscious that you actually are. And believe me, this works. Tip number two, smile. <sighs> Smiling, again, appeals to your subconscious. If you smile, if you force a smile, you'll tell your subconscious that you're happy and confident. And also, when you smile at another person, usually it's quite infectious and they smile back and then you feed off their energy, so you're like, Hey. <laughs> and then they smile back, you're like, yeah, I'm confident. I just made them smile. So when it comes, when, you, when we say fake it till you make it, this can happen instantly sometimes. You smile, you get the shoulders back, you fake it, and you pretty much make it within a few seconds if the situation is there. So Hollywood, get the gnashers out. Tip number three. Eye contact. Very, very important. Um, one of the telltale signs in teenagers, actually, when they're going through lack of confidence, which I think almost every teenager does as a phase, yep. is lack of eye contact. Now, I did the same. I think I was second year at school when all of a sudden I couldn't look teachers in the eye, and it was weird. It just all of a sudden came on me. I remember, like, you know, trying to talk to my rugby coach, and he's, like, looking at my feet. You know, I was just kind of making eye contact and looking away and thinking, did I look too long? And it was all yeah. just this really awkward kind of thing. I remember thinking, I like... I, as a mark of respect, I always try and make eye contact. And it took me a while to kind of, I knew I had to break through it and you were yeah. always trying. Um, but once again, it's one of those simple tips that it takes confidence to look somebody in the eye. But when you think, right, I want to be confident and just looking at somebody in the eye, it's still fake it till you make it. If you're looking somebody in the eye, as if, even if you don't feel confident about doing so, just the act of doing it will make you more confident and you'll appear more confident. And sometimes challenge yourself. You'll be in a situation, you see someone, you're like, I'm not going to look away first. <laughs> now you got to watch, because this sometimes comes across as creepy. This can get very <laughs> weird. But you okay. chat to someone, you're like, no, I'm not going to look away first. And they look away. And the minute they look away, it's okay if you look away. And then suddenly you're more confident, because you yeah. know that they'll eventually look away, you'll look away, and it's fine. It's, you can let them look away first, then you can look away first, you know. And here's, here's a little tip as well. If you really want to make an impact with somebody, okay, whether it's uh, maybe somebody of uh, that you're attracted to, maybe it's uh, somebody you're looking to get a job from, or if you just want a connection with somebody, hold your gaze. I mean, you don't have to kind of wait until the other person looks away, but if you hold your gaze for half a second longer than is comfortable, just half a second, you will connect with them in a way that you cannot explain. So our top tips. Ooh. <laughs> hey. Posture. Stand proud as beep. Smile. And the stare. <laughs> no, don't stare. Don't stare. <laughs> uh, no, just hold eye contact. Okay, so this is this is all encapsulated into fake it till you make it. Pretend to be confident, and the confidence will come. Build it, and they will come. <laughs> or book them, and they will come. So once you've faked it until you've made it, 
that's phase one. Phase two, now this is appropriate for certain situations. Um, more appropriate when maybe you're going on a date, say, and you're feeling a little bit nervous about it, you really feel lacking of confidence. Uh, maybe you're in a contest with uh, an opponent, whether it be a sport like boxing, or even playing tiddlywinks or chess, and you feel a uh, you know, lack of confidence. The top tip, you've got to see yourself from their point of view as well. So from the boxer's perspective, you, know, you might be round one and you're, oh, I'm tired, I'm getting hit, I don't like it. But there's a good chance he's also tired. He's also getting hit, if you're any good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the same boat you are. You know, if you convince yourself that he feels the same way you feel, you can calm down and be yeah. confident like, oh well, we're both on the same level now. Time to do what I came here to do. Exactly, exactly. Chances are, if you're in a contest with someone, you're feeling like a little bit kind of lacking of confidence, just see it from their point of view and say, well, do you know what? They're probably nervous about facing me because I'm a bloody good boxer or tiddlywinks champion or whatever it might be. See it from their point of view and they're feeling exactly the same as you. And as soon as you see that, it makes you feel better. Same with the date. So you're nervous about this date. Just remind yourself that your date was probably just as nervous as you. That helps with your confidence. Yeah. Probably more nervous than you because you're such a handsome motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! So that encapsulates phase two for certain, certain situations when you're facing an opponent or a date. Now moving on to phase three. Now this is the one. It's like things of horror movies. Public speaking. Oh. <laughs> it gives you the shivers, doesn't it? Public yeah, 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 speaking. Yeah. So recently, Rab and I have been public speaking uh, through the, uh, for the channel, for the, for the business, um, and the, a lot of comments came back saying, you know, you guys looked uh, awesome on stage, you're really confident, you must have been doing this for years. Now that was our first talk together. We've done a few things kind of uh, by ourselves. The top tip here, do your homework. Come in well prepared for whatever it is you're going to do. If you plan properly, then you're going to have all the tools at your disposal. Know your subject. Know exactly what you are going to talk about, how long you're going to be talking for on, on each phase, uh, just and research and uh, rehearse what you're going to do. Rehearse what you're going to say, but then also play it over in your head. Use the visualisation techniques that we've talked about in previous videos. You know, really kind of, in your mind's eye, see it. See yourself speaking the words you're going to say in the order you're going to do it. You visualise yourself being really calm, confident, proud, smiling, eye contact. But know your subject. Do not go in blind. Do not say to yourself, ah, it'll be fine. I'll make it up as I go along. Do not do that. That is the worst thing you could possibly do. Unless you're wearing a kilt, because we wing everything. <laughs> 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 to be fair, when, when we when we were in London, okay, we were on stage and we had this presentation to do, we did think, okay, we're going to re re rehearse, we're going to do this, but we actually agreed that, no, 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 our, um, our magic comes from just working off each other. So all we did, did was created a blueprint. Of yeah. But we did, so that's still planning at, ahead, yeah. We still had to plan ahead, you know, it's all about being confident, create a blueprint. We knew the, bl uh, the, the blueprint as it was going on, we knew when to, to change over uh, of the subject matter. So rehearse, do not go in blind. Know your subject and rock that public speaking. And that's how to be more confident.